Namaste. Namaste. I'm very happy that I can do this video. My computer completely broke up and it just worked more terrible every day and I couldn't find what is wrong. And I was thinking that I will have to give it away like last year when something happened. But we smoothly repair that beautiful machine. I bought very good computers 2012, which is actually quite still can compete with new ones. So I'm grateful. Although sometimes desire we need new equipment, but when everything fixed, I'm grateful. And I just want to do a video. This is the topic that was in my heart, my mind for long because it's a beautiful topic. But also it's beautiful how Windows is beautiful. I could fix this alone. Now this new Windows is very beautiful. So Earth is changing. You just have to click two clicks and all your data remains and everything reloads. The matrix reloads. <laughs> But it's a matrix. We use this matrix of internet, our computer, for beautiful things. So we share our love, our wisdom, our truth, our motivation, our empowerment. What we share? Our love from the heart. And I want to really dive deep. Always diving deep. But let us dive deep now. Because this, what I have to speak now, will make you understand why heart consciousness, unity consciousness, and why mind consciousness is the matrix. I really love to dive deep into psychology of our mind, our soul, this matrix. Buddha has said everything is mind. Yes? All this matrix is mind. And matrix is separation. Unity consciousness is unity consciousness. New earth. Where does matrix actually exist? Is this planet matrix? No. This planet is our beloved mother Gaia. Beautiful planet. Very beautiful divine being, goddess. We are her children. So what is the matrix if matrix is not the planet? World? It's not the planet, it's not the Gaia, it's not nature. World is that structure of the mind, artificial world. And people are lost in the world, in problems of the world. Artificial time. In the planet with Mother Nature, all animals and all the tribes who live with Mother Nature don't have such time. They have seasons. Seasons of day, day and night, dusk uh, and dusk, dawn, midday, winter, spring. Summer, autumn, winter, and naturally all the beings in Mother Gaia from the heart act according to that time of this planet. We can call it time, seasons, and everything is okay. Artificial world structure of the mind has its own rules, which are not in alignment with Mother Earth, completely disconnected, separated, running after illusions, after some deadlines, after something that in future we will get if in, we now kill with, if we now kill ourselves literally for some happiness promised in the future. And the time and schedules of this world, the time of the world is completely 
in balance, not in balance, completely in disharmony, in chaos with the time of the planet of Mother Gaia, the seasons. You know. And all the artificial problems created in the mind, the politics, the ev everything, the system from the mind. And so we live in the world. We live in that construct. I went deep in one article, just go find. I don't want to speak about this because this is one very long topic to explain the world and our beloved Gaia, the Earth. But there's no new Earth. Earth is here. Just we have to stop living in the world. We are not of this world. We are not even in this world. We are on Mother Gaia, the new Earth. And this world is illusion created out of the mind. More close you are to nature, more you live in the heart. Your heart beats with Mother Nature. And you don't have to be in nature. You, have, you can stand in your apartment like now. Your heart has to be one with Mother Nature. And you run according to her time. It is moment, it just changes through seasons of the day and year. So, and system is artificial, like I said, construct of the mind, and all its threats and illusions thrown at us, at humanity, so that they forget about our planet, our earth, our mother, that we are children of, and we are lost in the world. You know, the world is not this planet. This planet is heaven. So, but I will go in a one other video in world, deeply, and Mother Gaia. But now I want to go in the matrix of the mind, and the unity consciousness of the heart, new earth of the heart, earth collective, heart collective. You see, earth is in heart. You just put the H from the heart, in the end you have earth. So when your heart beats as one with earth, you are a new earth. You are no more in the world. And this I want to go now, really deeply, psychology. I want to show you something. What is the matrix? Matrix is actually the mind. And separation, matrix of the separation means separation from the source. Where is the matrix? In everyone's head, just there. The perception. The way we perceive, experience, feel about and think about the world. When our mind runs the show and the world is in our head and we have opinions, judgments, traumas and everything and he built the picture, the perception of the world upon that. Our illusion of the mind, the calculation. So everyone, matrix is actually not this matrix, actually. Matrix of separation. Every, everybody is separated from their heart, from source, where we all are one, from love. And everybody lives in their illusions, in their fears, in their constructs, in the mind, their own mind. So there's not one matrix. It's matrix of separation because... Everyone is in their own mind, separated from the heart. We are in the heart, we all are one, unity consciousness. And our mind are aligned from one heart. <laughs> heart collective, that doesn't mean mind is dead. We have to shut the mind down first. So we activate the heart, then we reactivate the mind from the one heart. So, just look at, just listen to that, to this. Our mind, so 
until we live in the mind, our own mind disconnected from the heart, our mind runs the show, all the illusions, and these are not our thoughts, you are not your mind. Mind is just a reflection of the fear of being separated. And then it's only when it wants to get connected, there's no connection. It's only darkness and fear and everything is constructed in the matrix of our mind according to that fear and calculations and opinions and everything, which has nothing to do with truth. That's why it's matrix of separation. Because the perception and the matrix in the head of one conditioned being in this matrix and another, this is his illusion and this is his illusion has nothing to do with the truth. And usually, mostly, all the judgments, all the attacks, all the accusations, all the fights, all the wars are product of that illusion, of separation, of me being in your mind, in you doing nothing to me, but I seeing your action in the thinking of my mind, in my, my illusions disconnected from the truth of feeling in my heart, I see that you want to do something to me. I feel threatened. Not by what you are doing, but as our mind is disconnected from the heart, our illusionary translation of what the other one is doing. And defense, which is actually attack, which nobody did nothing to us, fighting, drama. And I can see this very clearly, because if you are on very high level, and people are dealing on with 4D and their own illusions, they many times saw me as dark. Because their fears, their illusions in their mind, and their reality that they, they need to be healed, reflected in understanding, not understanding actually the poet, the multidimensional artist, which released this long, long years ago, and is just being free and expressing this love freely and power and giving this to others. But from their standpoint of view, from their unhealed state, and their reflection of the mind, they see their own. So sometimes, like on the sun, sun is too bright and you see only darkness. It's their own illusion that they see in you. If they see you as that you are not of the light, that something is wrong with you and they judge you and they feel, they see their own reflection, their own perception of the level that they cannot understand. And then their own judgment in the mind start reflecting and calculating this because they have done this, because they, uh, just something, our opinion, our label. Uh, for example, no, but he cannot say fuck. Something is wrong with him. Or somebody who is really suffering in 4D, and darkness is attacking him and is really in this 4D matrix illusion. The darkness has power over you still. And some of those angels are so much suffering that I also noticed when I really wrote a very high dimensional poem about opposites of darkness and light unite in love now and end the fight. You know, and somebody saw like this, because he's so much in the war mentality and in that 4D, which is true in the 4D, but in 5D, we want love. We don't agree with darkness. We integrate darkness with light in heart as it should be. Dark, sky is dark for stars and moon to shine, not to hurt the moon, you know disconnection, separation, and I just expressing like Rumi, that deep poetry, and somebody get, he sees their own illusions because he's suffering and he throw that on me and he just get that. And 
Master from higher point knows what is going on. Sees. It's just his illusions reflecting because he's suffering there, but he cannot see. And that time, many times in this game, accusations and many people get accused. And But it's our mind. That's why Jesus said, don't judge. Jesus said, walk away. If you don't understand, if you don't like, don't judge. Let God judge. No one will escape. Karma of the source given, the fruits of their action. If somebody is pretending, somebody is false light, <laughs> trust me, they cannot escape. So I don't even bother with them. I bother with spreading light and truth and wisdom like in this video. To give teaching also to others. I maybe see, but if I do this, expose people, then others will do this and they don't see and they will do according to their own reflections in their own matrix and they may end up judging a pure soul which is one with God and if you do that this is not just karma this is terrible reactions you know that's why I stay away and that's why all the masters Buddha Jesus if you see all the masters Krishna they never given one name they never in their example, we're teaching people to judge. To, they say, if you think something is wrong, go away. Because the reality is, we live in the matrix of our mind. If, if we are on that level and somebody is on that level, we can actually really cause harm upon ourselves when we, out of our mind, judge that person. You know? So, that's why Master said, don't trust, okay, walk away, you are not sure, you don't understand, let God deal, I am like this, I see many things, maybe I know that I see, and it's, I know that I see, but when you know that you see, when you are on that level, when God shows you these things, you are also on that level to respect, that let the source judge, and let everyone have free will in this matrix to experience what they will. I will spread truth and wisdom and teachings, how people can get protected from false light, how they can recognize and feeling and shadow work, to work on the shadows in our consciousness and presenting deeper truths like this video and infusing all my light from the heart and love. So also what I'm speaking get activated and in this way, I am spreading light into darkness. I don't need to focus. That mind does. Opposition. Separation. Because I just wanted to prove to you now with this speech how we can actually make own illusion and we act upon it and nothing was there wrong. We should leave it alone. I see so many. All the wars and everything. Okay, orchestrated also. But leader thinks somebody is threatening him and it's not such situation maybe and the other one also thinks something and that's why he's threatening him and they both are having an illusion about each other and they go to war but there's no purpose to go to war and their own both illusions about each other are not actually threat and are not truth and there would not have to be any war. Sadly in this world like this, fighting people fight over some crazy things. Sometimes friendships end, sometimes violence, sometimes somebody gets killed even. It's just because everybody lives in their own matrix in the mind, mostly, and they create a picture because of their own healed traumas and everything reflecting back in their mind. Mind is disconnected from the source. And according to that, according to their own illusions that mark them through life and past lives, they see the world and others according to these illusions. And they see somebody who did nothing to them, like a cause now. They have to fight with them, become enemies and go to intimate war.
Matrics of the mind. Matrix of the mind. That's why Rumi so delightfully said, it is not me. It's your own, your own illusions that you see in me. Yeah? Because when you are a master, when you really see, you don't mess with people. You see? But people mess with you. Because when you are a master, you are really representing higher dimensional truths. And they see their own, sometimes religion, sometimes their own unhealed trauma. I know, the past day I posted a video in one group, a video, I always post my video in several groups that I like, and my videos and work, and I know I just, I don't check usually, you know. And somebody, it was video about the full moon, and somebody, but you realize that you are following just same like Christianity, just this new age, just same thing. I saw actually everything. What they need to heal, their anger, their illusions, and their own opinions, and all these blockages of beliefs in the mind, and all. But they didn't see me. They just saw their own beliefs and their own traumas they need to heal. You know. So usually people who really attack, really live in their mind. Because if you know my work, everybody who knows my work. <laughs> I'm here to put love in all religions. I'm here to share source truths. I don't really, I know I have nothing to do with Christian as a religion, but we all have to do much with Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ has nothing to do with Christian religion also. So I can say I have a lot of comment and you too in common. We spread true love like he was spreading that time, but they will not create some religions of separation of the matrix in our name. It's again constructs of the construct of the mind, religion, again separation. So matrix is in the mind of somebody always. Everybody. So we're living actually in the world of six, seven billions of matrices. <laughs> Not one matrix, and because there are so many matrices, that's why everybody is fighting because they are living in their own mind. You know. <laughs> like that. So. You have to always understand that's why when people come after you. When you want to go after people, the same. Both you are working from the mind and this matrix. When people come after you, you have to understand, hey, it has nothing to do with me. Like I do that person, but sometimes happen that I tell them nicely, I should just remain silent. And when I tell them nicely, then they have to just go on. And I have to tell them something not so nice and end it with, I pray for you and God bless you, but block you also. If somebody is not, if somebody is acting from their matrix and not respecting your polite will expressed, because you, their matrix is not your problem. Her matrix was not my problem. You know, I just posting my truth. I didn't ask nobody to come tell me that I have to realize, realize that I'm like Christian. And I'm realized soul in truth, in source. This is what I worked all my life and so many lives maybe for this. And been many lives ago on that stage also uh, and higher. Uh, but Somebody who's living in the heart, somebody who's not in the mind, but will not accept you telling them that they are religious, that they are this. This has nothing to do, you know. And example, when somebody is acting like this, is living in his own matrix, their own matrix. You understand why? It's their own illusion. 
She has problem with religion. She has problem with opinions and assumptions and uh, not understanding really. But that's okay. Hey, we are here to give truth from the heart. For all who don't understand. It's for it's time for understanding is now to become that understanding. But to attack and throw stones at those who are here to help you to understand. That's not the way. In this way, cannot give nothing and they cannot get nothing. So that's why, you know, this is matrix. Everybody is their own matrix. And if their matrix is violating your matrix, then you have to remove, you have to remove that matrix from your space. Nothing happens to that person. They can live on nicely and do whatever they want. You just respect your power from the heart. Because as I now hope, hopefully, have given you some understanding and some depth, how actually this matrix works. And how it's actually because we, everybody of us is separated. Well, I don't feel separated anymore. I feel very united just to seeing your comment and feeling your energy. I feel we all are one. And I feel you feel also like this more and more and always more and we will feel more and more because this is the ascension, baby, you know? Yeah. Living from the heart doesn't mean, you know, our minds become golden, no more dark golden like my heart, like your heart. Ha. Just matrix of separation, just one more time I want to repeat this. Just imagine, matrix of separation means every, everybody is living in their own mind, separated from the truth, and have their own calculations and <laughs> construct their own picture, perception. And this is the world everybody lives in, the world that he creates here inside. And now just to conclude, to conclude, with beautiful source truth. Source truth? Very beautiful source truth. How heart consciousness is unity consciousness where we all are one and we no more live in the world. We live on the earth, on Gaia, on heaven. Why? Mind is instrument of the heart. And the heart that I am on the heart, your higher self. On the heart that I am, your heart, your soul. And I am presence, which is you actually, the highest form of you. And this is my higher self, and there's no more higher self. I feel just me here, being lovely. Quite some time like this, but now it's intensifying, like getting more. Okay. This is love. <laughs> So we all are actually coming from that one, that I am, in everyone's heart, in every atom of creation, everywhere experiencing the creation, that I am you. And more and more we rise in consciousness, more and more we live in the heart. We make our heart our home, like Rumi said. I, I love Rumi. Why, you think? I don't need to say. I, you like my poetry, no? Uh, you know, like Rumi said, this happens to me. When I want to speak about love, my pencil drops, my paper slips away, and I just end up in that inevitable place where beloved love and lover are one. You are one, one love in the heart. We stop speaking. I don't know what I wanted to say. I will come back because it must. <laughs> I wanted to say love in the heart. We all are. And don't ask me why. Because she is beyond belief. All men, their beliefs are in the mind. You know? <laughs> So, 
in everyone heart as one love in everyone heart as one I am and this I am in actually you no separation higher highest you why separating separation is here in the mind in the heart we all are one and you are that I am you but you are unique special unique form of I am you are you I am I but in love that I am and you are that I am love in your heart we all can be one we have a relationship it's actually self-realized being living from heart enlightened ascend it in the heart knowing who I am knowing who you are knowing that I am you that I am on the beginning of the beginnings in every heart but being myself my unique form ah, galactic human being galactic humanity collective of the heart using the mind to create heaven on earth our mind aligned with the one love in our one heart that I am. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. From the heart. My heart, your heart, our heart. <laughs> I actually love to speak mostly about love like this deeply, but usually I'm sensitive and I need to do some shadow work on some things that need to be healed in consciousness so it just can work. But this is what I want to do. So, our minds are no more lost. We are in heart consciousness and this is one heart, one love, one that I am in every heart. So we all are one, huh? From the heart and our mind aligned. One with the heart that I am. Oh, it's wonderful. It's amazing. We are how unique I am, you, but you are unique you, but you are that I am, me. But yes and no. Inconceivable oneness and unity of me and you, and you, your uniqueness, my uniqueness, individuality, sovereignty, both sh magnified and expressed in fullness, oneness in fullness, and individuality in fullness. And our mind, when we live in a heart, our mind is no more separated, no more matrix. Matrix is separation, everybody in their own mind and seeing their own illusions and fighting out of that illusions, as I just told you before. Ha! And in the heart, mind is aligned with one heart, one love, one that I am. Every mind. So we all can be one. One love, heart collective. No, no, my mind is no more separated from you. I see you. I feel you. I know you. You are that I am, from the heart. I'm no more confused, no more need for war, because I understand. And you live in the heart also, so you don't no more tell, do something to me that we need to fight. And even if you do, somebody who doesn't, you don't fight. You move away from your power, because, hey, I am love. He is also, he doesn't re realize I go away and pray, because nobody can take my truth away, nobody can take my heart away. In mind is at peace because mind is one with the heart. And you don't want to fight even with others who want to fight. You end the fight very quickly, like Bruce Lee. <laughs> you see, I actually uh, jumped and made three somersaults. It's just that what you did not see. Too many flip kicks and everything. <laughs> Yes, you end the drama immediately in the way that is needed, but mostly you want to end it lovely. If not, blocking. In real life, walking away. Roaring if needed. If loving sweetly and praying doesn't help. You don't want to fight, and you are one with all who are one in the heart. And when this planet comes like that, our whole mind aligned with one love, knowing the purpose, no more matrix, no more separation, our mind knows from the heart that I am you, and I'm no more confused, I see you, I feel you, I feel the truth of what is shown in the surface, 
I know that I am you. If you violate me, I walk away. But I don't, no more get confusion. No more confusion. Because when we live in the heart, beloved angels, we feel, I feel you, you feel me. No more illusions fighting from the mind. No more confusion. No more matrix. We see as it is. Not as it appears to be to the mind separated of the heart on the surface of illusion, but we see deeply in the core of things. Like somebody can say, fuck. I fucking love you. Or somebody can just, because but it's multidimensionally. And that fuck, love and everything. You're fucking awesome. Or just, or just fuck. But meaning that, oh, yeah. Somebody who feels will understand. That's why some, sometimes somebody gives me a really nice, really comment with a bad word or something, and I just laugh at it and give some love. And somebody some, sometimes writes something that it's not visible, really. But I see their intention and that inside, and I will not react sometimes. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I will actually show them what they're doing. In a nice way, if possible. Uh, but you feel, you know, it's love. You feel from the heart what the heart given to you. You are no more confused on the superficial picture and image. People can come to you in a white robe pretending they are saint. But you see, oh God, what is this? Oh, see all darkness in the heart. No, no, thank you. You go somebody else, somebody else, please. Not go to somebody else. No, I don't need you. I'll pray for you. I don't, you don't even need to say that because they're cheating people. They want to cheat people. Go, 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 go. Go, go away from me. And somebody can be dirty in leather jacket, not good manners. But they are actually pure saint. You feel their heart. You see them as it is. Who is shining externally and internally you see them as shining. Who is just sh shining externally but internally not really shining. You feel that, you know that from the heart. Who shines internally but externally not so much because he loves to play. I love to shine externally also very much. Sometimes I love good show and art like Dali loved and everything. Well, sometimes I confuse many because I can go so much deep. My love said you will you so deep you will confuse the deepest. And my autism confuses many now, not so much more, but still can. Because my responses were not normal many times and things. Sensitive very. So that's why from my own example I can, because I know my truth and my heart, God is at peace in my truth. And I know that others from their mind sometimes saw something others. And I know it has nothing to do with me, it's their own illusion. And the evidence I see many times in my life, in my work, how whatever I now told you is actually the truth. How we actually see ourselves reflecting. Until we... And but till we log out of this matrix and we get the eyes to see, then we see, but then we will no more attack nobody, no more violate nobody, and we just let everyone see be okay. They are not asking my help, they are not asking my uh, advice, they don't want to be corrected, so let them learn out of experience they chosen. Source will give them what they need and deserve, and I'm at peace. That's how we see from the heart. That's why heart, live in the heart, all old masters, Rumi, I love to mention the Rumi today. Rumi said live in the heart, Lalonde said live in the heart, Jesus said live in the heart, everybody said live in the heart, everybody, 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 everybody. Krishna, sure, naturally, he said live in the heart. He said even make love from the heart with no attachments, no conditions of this world, nothing, let it be pure from the heart where I am.
not from lust, not from down here, but here. Heart, 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 heart. In heart, we realize we all are one. We all realize. <laughs> Sometimes my tongue gets jammed. No problem. In the heart, in the heart, we feel the truth. Heart is gold. Mother, divine feminine, she sees deeply on the bottom of things as they are. Mind, matrix, like I explained to you before, only on the surface, illusions that are actually reflections in the mind that has nothing to do with actual reality of the thing, but our own kingdom within, reflecting in our mind. That's why I live in the heart. So much benefits in the heart. You look out of this world, you start logging out of this world, you start experiencing the new world from the heart, where earth is inside the heart. Just you put H on the end and you have heart. That's it, that's it, that's it. Beautiful heart and earth one. You all are one. And yes, I have practiced how you can really, in meditation, train yourself to live in the heart and do this and always correct yourself to really sit, calm yourself down, feel the heart space, start gently humming how you can, you know, just if you, the way you can hum, hum, just make a humming sound. And feel the heart space. Start and just sink in that peace, in that love, in that relaxation. It's like God telling you, rest. Or here I am. Train yourself to live in the heart. And to understand that your mind is just reflecting illusions and it's not necessarily true. If somebody don't think, feel right, just walk away. Don't focus. What you don't understand, don't like. What confuses you, focus on what makes your heart dancing and spread your love in the heart. Train yourself to really live in the heart. You know. Do that meditation gently, om, om, and feel yourself in the heart, in the sink, in that peace. Well, you know from the heart everything is to be okay. Even when bad days, problems and everything. When you sink in your heart, surrender the mind, then you can from peace work on solutions. In the matrix of the mind, we go in panic, we go in fear, everything is now over, everything is fucked, I'm finished. We go like this, uh, and negative, all the negative scenarios, scenarios possible. And really, we instead of focusing on the solution, we just um, really messed up in problems and in uh, our fears of worst outcomes. But from the heart, okay. This just happened. Okay, I will be in my heart space. Okay, now I will think with a mind from the heart. Peace. What can I do to make it better, to solve this? And from the peace you get the solution. And you don't waste time on panic, on uh, projecting all what you don't want to create in your energy. With your time and your focus and your energy, you really focus into solution which you can focus on from the peace in your heart. Just go in that peace always. No, God knows me that I am in the heart. Nobody can change this. 
Doesn't matter what they do, doesn't matter what they say, doesn't matter they accept me, reject me, doesn't matter. They crucify no, crucify you, no, this this should not happen to anyone anymore. It's not. No, no, it matters. This not that nobody should hurt you in any way, you walk away. It doesn't matter, you can say yes if somebody hurt at you. Somebody punched at you, if somebody betrayed you, if you can say it doesn't matter, but I will not allow it anymore. I learned out of it. I got fucked, no problem, but not again. But no blaming, no in the mind, no victim mentality, no nothing. What is in the mind? Doesn't matter. Just, I don't want it. In the heart. When you realize you are one with God and we all are one. And that I am. You. Everywhere. Making love with myself. Even now. Focus. Focus on somebody like me. Who will give you love and accept your love. I now just... A multidimensional being, I, when you watch watching video, I just be uh, taking all your love and giving all that love, giving me receive. <laughs> and like I have written down there, if somebody wants to share some other energy that support the work, I'm so grateful, you cannot imagine how. But like I said, living in a heart, I cannot get any more in panic, I cannot get any more in that uh, when you. Sometimes I know that actually when this, this, this fear and everything was disappearing, actually I was becoming afraid. Hey, but you need this. How will you survive if you will not be afraid? How will you survive if you will not go in panic? Hey, hey, this is neat. You need this. But now just, I know in the morning because in the night we many times release. I just releasing just like a shadow of, there's nothing there. And the problems can be <laughs> like really that, Two years ago, a year ago, I go crazy and go in all negative scenarios and create that. But now, from that peace, in the heart, if we live, God is there and we, I can feel myself saying, everything is to be okay. Don't worry. And I feel God said this. <laughs> okay. From the heart, that is clear. We can work on solutions. Focus on what brings our dream closer. I even on internet I focus on many things because I want to give myself away. But Facebook is my primary work. I write everything for Facebook. I post everything on Facebook. Every video for Facebook. Then after I download it and share it somewhere else. <laughs> but. We are collective of the heart. I'm so grateful because I'm so weird. I'm not, I'm not really inspired to write alone, to write a book. To, this what I'm writing, all these things are my poetry books and my books, which I really have to go into this, compile the articles and all these things and compile them into books. People love to read short advices, short stories and like this. And everything what I'm writing here, actually, I'm saving and having backups and everything. Um, having six, six, six thousand pages of material already packed, and I'm waiting a little bit to be a little bit more known because I want to be the people reach. I just don't feel from source in my heart that it's time now to release uh, everything. Works in gradual steps. Maybe not so fast like you want. But when you live in the heart, you do what is needed and you know when you need to do something. And you know when it's not time to do just that. And you know why. And when, but also when you live in the heart, there's no more karma, there's nothing. You don't want to live in the mind, so you don't tell to nobody nothing and no one can tell you nothing. You know why you do that. If you want help on something, like I wanted, like I needed help I want to thank Archangel uh, Rikiel, you looking, watching. He is like my Robin. I just love him. He lives here 10, 10 miles away. Something breaks with computer. If some technical help, 
if something like this he is here because I'm like agent point very simple man I can explain deep science to you, very simple simple words like this also very simple everybody can understand actually and this I feel so blessed but Archangel Ericiel he's he always comes and saves when something technical needs to be and when I have to deal with something which really gives me headache the technical things and things in internet which are really not like I love to say my love no, no science I know only her you know, like this sometimes we all need help this is beautiful and things that's why I'm praying that we support each other, that people come who really can support us, me and you, if people are now listening who can support you, and people are listening who can support you, and really we get that, what we deserve, because I know, now I am just very happy that God provides for me, and I can live, although sometimes I just, how will this solve God, and this I say every month, Source, how will this solve? But I keep in trust and in my peace and in everything, everything okay. But we all deserve to get more because we have so much more to give. And when you know what you are here to do, you know what you will do. Only to expand the work of love, to expand the giving. Not to make ourselves rich, not to just enjoy on Hawaii somewhere and just, okay, now I'm finished. No, no, no. We get so much like we deserve. We will use it from the heart, millions, to spread our love, to make our world greater work, and to end that system. Money is not a bad thing. Money is bad thing in the matrix of the mind. Because then it's used selfishly separated to destroy everybody around you and just to selfishly, I don't know, enjoy from the mind that power of money. But money from the heart, like masters are using now, which actually already got blessed to do that greater things. And many like in Hollywood and in music industry, ascending and just turning around they have a lot of means they have a lot of money they have a lot of popularity like Jim Carrey and Black Eyed Peas which really started like true light workers and Russell Brand and like this and so many what they do with their fame with their name with their abundance they make themselves and the message of love and unity heard all around the world. And people respect them. And their power, their fame, they, their, their name, their worldly power they gained, they use to now approach and give that message of one love, of ascension, of our true human being, which is love and the consciousness of ascended human being be telling people that you can do greater things, that we all are great as Christ was, Christ consciousness. Giving us the way, revealing the secrets of the system, but giving the solution, enlightenment. Those who I mentioned doesn't focus on, do not focus on revealing the dark secrets. Here I can, here I want to say something. If you are revealing dark secrets, you can do that, no problem. But you have to know something. If you do it from the mind, you only reveal the dark secrets and give people the problem. Never reveal dark system and problems to the people if you don't have some solution. If you are revealing the darkness and dark system, then also provide them in the same, that's how in your heart you know. Provide them solution in the same message you are giving. Provide them solution. Don't make people afraid and like this. Provide them solution, which has to be, this is how I feel, more impact. Yes, this is what they are doing. 
But this is the solution. This is what we are doing, and this is possible. This is how the message from the heart focus on solution. Yes, because I understand some of us have work to reveal dark secrets, but we have we have to take care to focus on solution. My work is only on solutions. I focus on a lot of, but I don't focus on the problems of the world. I focus on the problems of the consciousness, of karma, of attachments, expectations, of opinions, of all the illusions. You know. I focus on that very much, but I always focus to give the solutions to just that. So we also, when we are revealing something, some dark secrets of this world, we have to give solution. That's then everything is okay, but if we're just giving the problem, then we're just making people afraid and more separated. They need to know solution, and they need to feel that empowerment, like they're feeling now. Like this. Ah, again, I always, I always want to make it short, but I just speak. This is my nature. Anyway, I said everything. Live in the heart, not in the mind, not in the matrix. Mind is separated. From that I am, in my heart, your heart, every heart, from our oneness. And when we live in the heart, where that I am you, we all can be one. Because I am my unique sovereign version, and you are your unique sovereign version of that same I am that I am you. And we know that. No more separation, no more matrix, no more living in the illusion, illusionary world we create in our mind. We're living in the heart and being connected with the reality of us all. Feeling that reality, seeing that reality, being that reality. No more matrix. Living in the, living on new earth, Mother Gaia following her seasons, seasons of the day, seasons of the year, being one with Mother Nature. From the heart, like I said, heart, you take H and put it on the end and you get earth. Ha <laughs> And everything is beautiful. No more illusions. I am no more confused what you did and say because I feel your heart, my heart. No more fighting. No more fear. We live. Yes, if we live in the mind, we live in the matrix. Matrix is fear. Matrix of fear, actually. Mind is separated from the heart, from unity of us all, from God, from source. So fear rules. Afraid of every, everybody outside. Everything and everybody will harm me. That mind thinks, you know, running, governed by fear. By fear. And the heart, governed by love, by truth. No more fear. If you see the danger, you feel the danger, you walk away. But you're no more afraid and creating danger everywhere and enemies everywhere. Potential enemies and really creating that reality. So, in the heart, that I am, source, God, your highest self, actually you, in the beginning, God knows everything and you feel everything. And you see the reality as it is, no more matrix of your mind, locked matrix. It has nothing to do with his reality, his reality, his reality, and the reality of us all. It's just seven billion illusions fighting with each other and being afraid of everyone else. Heart collective. You live in the heart where that I am, you, the one. I love to repeat myself, no problem. Be blessed. We all are one in the heart, at peace. Let us live there. Be blessed as I am from the heart, to live in the heart. And may your gold turn from the heart, your mind to gold. Hmm. So we all can think in the same direction also, which is love. And heaven and earth. No more confusion, no more illusion. I see you as you are, see me as I am, because I am you. I give you my word from the heart. Out of my mind, through my mouth. Namaste, we are one. Namaste.